your head in shame forever there are people who laughed at young people thinking they will never rise there are people who laughed at business people can can i tell you this sometimes god allows people to witness your failure so that they will be the defenders of your greatness they will say no 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 i saw this man of god i knew when he held a crusade that nobody was there i saw this business person i my mother even gave him 20 naira don't be ashamed of your season of tears the scar on your hand today you've heard me say it what you are ashamed of today will become your symbol of honor tomorrow are you ready to pray let's stop here tonight please rise up on your feet please no moving around lend me two or three minutes we are going to pray we are going to pray we are going to pray you're going to lift up your voice in the next two or three minutes and you're going to cry before the god of heaven you're going to tell him lord i am in my season of preparation grant me grace grant me grace lift your voice and pray if someone pray grant me grace to discover you some of you are just starting in destiny god may not be talking to you about purpose god may not be talking to you about ministry he may not be talking to you about your assignment he will talk to you about himself he wants you to know him not your talent god first lift your voice and pray cry before the lord your maker in the beginning god over my life so what will start as a ministry starts as an encounter with god what will start as a kingdom financing ministry will still start as God. What will start as a kingdom political career still starts as God. Everything, no matter what it is, if it is in its beginning, it is God. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. Grant me the diligence. May I not pamper myself. May I not pamper my destiny. Let pain not be a, 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 a distraction. Let pain not constitute a limitation. Grant me the grace to endure like a faithful soldier building building my mind building my gifts building my mind building my value building my mind building my value is someone praying building my mind building my value this is a template that our fathers followed this is a template that our fathers gave us this is a template that scripture gives us we cannot compromise on the pattern pray for the season of pests oh that when god will prove me may i be faithful that when god will prove me may i have the stamina to remain ye who have continued with me ye who have continued with destiny i will finish my season of training with honor with nobility 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 hallelujah hear me now you are going to pray for sensitivity so that you will not be missing on the day the grace for appearance comes may it find you where god asks you to stay listen the devil can cheat you through offense the devil can cheat you through impatience the devil can cheat you through the manipulation of demonic spirits to not be where the grace for your season of appearance will find you i like you to pray and cry for grace sensitivity oh god
to be where my lifting will meet me is someone pray Go ahead, please pray. This is the spiritual strategy for greatness. This is the spiritual strategy in this kingdom. There is no magic about how we rise. This is the protocol, non-emotional, non-negotiable, non-emotional, non-negotiable. I obtain grace to be sensitive to the man that God will send when my season of appearing comes. I will be sensitive to the instructions that come. hallelujah pray please take this prayer serious job chapter 5 and verse 19 are you ready to read want to read with me he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven shall no evil touch you number one next verse please in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand, you, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Oh, 
Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers this is where we are getting to you don't need to know who will help you strangers and strangers shall stand and feel listen 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 strangers shall stand and feed your flock it says and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen this was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, There is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, Although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, Am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elia are coming to bless me. Help prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray? We're going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you. I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews. And he was clearly cooperating with Vashti. And God needed to remove Vashti. And when God brought Esther, Esther forgot her assignment. And she was enjoying the palace. And Mordecai sent a warning. That warning is for all of us. Every time you hear trouble somewhere, don't say it's still far. Don't make the mistake of Esther. Mordecai said, do not think when they are done with us from afar, you will be spared. The moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere, you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell. Don't just say, I am secured. Esther knew that if she kept quiet, one day they would discover she were a Jew and they would kill her. And she took the risk. I'm going to meet the king. Even without his invitation, if I perish, I perish. One of the things I'm praying and trusting that God will do to the body of Christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests Are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we're going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. We can call the favor that be not and make it appear. We can call the lifting that be not and make it appear. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I declare, let it be open right now. Let it be open right now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. Are we together? Some of us here have loved ones who are trusting God for healing. Some of us have been grounded by all kinds of demonic forces. And it is so painful to see a Christian who loves Jesus with all their heart. And, and their love for Jesus is known to all, but they never move forward. That is a bad description of Jesus. 
and the devil likes such people so when he finds a sister who is faithful in church a brother who is serving they tie down that destiny so that it becomes a portrait that misrepresents God that is the assignment of power the assignment of power is to rewrite that narrative that the brother you were laughing at and saying, look at these church people. He rejected bribe in his office. You would have been a billionaire right now by just signing your signature. But in the name of some Christian thing, you said you will not compromise. And then the God of heaven comes and lifts you. Do you know what it means when God's people are lifted? It is a very strong message that even encourages other believers. Am I right on that? let me two more minutes i'm going to request that you lay your hands one more time and say lord where my life has been bankrupt of power in this season i insist and in this conference i pray the power components that is required to represent your purposes not just in ministry i'm not just talking of power to heal the sick power to go forward power to go forward in spite of the economy power to make progress in spite of the wickedness of men power to make advancement in spite of tribal sentiment open your mouth and pray pray on behalf of your children pray on behalf of your spouse someone pray the power to prosper the power for signs and wonders the power to raise the power that brings influence commanding genuine consistent ever increasing kingdom results for the sake of his majesty and for the glory of the king Hallelujah. Keep praying. You have won the victory. If that is true, it must show in your life. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the reason king. You're seated in majesty. Listen, please look at me. Please look at me. I'm wrapping up, but my spirit is so fired up. Just listen to me. Sir, do you know, with all humility, I have prayed for people who have brought charms, and brought all kinds of demonic things and said apostle i'm tired of this and sometimes i ask them why did you get this and they say in my sincere desire to rise tired or it's not like i'm an evil person but someone called me and said listen if it is finances you want it's not going to work by all this grammar you better come and receive something and some of those people and honestly some of them would tell me that when they received it for a while it was like something just happened and they started soaring before it backfired there are dimensions in the spiritual where the power of god is introduced to your life and it turns you into a wonder a wonder what is there about building a house that everybody is almost becoming a thing of mockery i'm not being stupid god knows that with your background by the time you contend for transformation, if the only thing you have is transformation, you will talk a lot of good things in your life till people begin to mock you. What are the 12 steps to an exceptional financial life? Oh, I've learned from Dr. Lumide Emanuel. All of you sit down and you give an intelligent lecture. Are you seeing that? And at the end of the lecture, I'm not mocking you everybody comes out and you are still trekking you are the one who spoke smartest transformation but no empowerment 
There are many people like that. When it has to do with the educational dimension of transformation, don't come near them. They will speak and what they are saying is not a lie, but the grace to make it happen. There is something called the power of performance. It says, blessed is she that believeth, for unto her there shall be a performance. People teach on favor, series on favor, but you do not see it in their lives at all. He said, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. Listen, I'm taking out time this morning because I sense God is speaking to someone that if all you do is to keep talking, your family members may die in your presence and you will keep watching them and you are saying, Jesus saves. They are getting sick. Jesus saves. Their health is deteriorating. Oh, Jesus heals. They are still getting sick. It is the absence of power. Let me tell you, when genuine power comes there, you will lift them up and say, Jesus heals. They will prosper then you say jesus lives the gospel was never supposed to be communicated bankrupt of power i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ he says for it is the power not just the discussion the power you may be a man of god here this may be why your ministry is grounded restore the power component you are speaking the truth you are not with God you are a sincere person but for God's sake don't just say what God can do prove what God can do with your life this is a generation of evidence someone pray one minute Lord bring evidence to my life evidence to my Christian experience bring evidence to oh no my, my life, life with such a testimony my life that a brings glory minutes. to the name of the lord in the name of jesus lord the results are not for pride life, the results are not Let for self-aggrandizement in the name of jesus in jesus name amen watch this do you know how many times jesus kept saying he would die and come back to life was he lying? But when he was in that grave, everybody kept quiet. They forgot everything he said. And everything he said did not matter until the third day. If Jesus did not come back to life, even you will reject everything he said. With all the I love you Jesus you are saying today, you only love him because his resurrection gave you the boldness to say he's not a liar. Am I right on that? Imagine if Jesus was still in the grave and he said, don't worry, I'm still working on it. After 2,000 years, you just believe and then if some prophet comes and says, look, I spoke with the spirit of Jesus. He said he's in hell. He's almost there. Just for the door to open. The door has not really opened very well. Will you serve such a God? Let's be honest. It is not difficult to take the gospel. It is the proof to demonstrate it our fathers many of them who have joined the cloud of witnesses today men like Maurice Sorulo men like T.L. Osborne they went to nations and they brought a message as at the time they were preaching everybody was watching them like this others were even waiting for them to finish so they killed them but when the power component came let power come upon your business and you watch what your life becomes let power come upon your family let power come upon your goals and your plans somebody shout send power lord one more time say send power lord say for the last time send power lord please open your mouth and pray send power to my life power to my destiny power to my ministry power to my finances in the name of jesus Lord, send down your power, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we cry for your power. We cry for your torture. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, send down your power. In the name of Jesus. Let me Jesus. give you the last key. Apologize for stretching us. Number one, transformation to be an ambassador. Number two, empowerment. The third, I will just mention it, may not have time to discuss. The third is purpose. 
purpose. As much as we have shouted power now, power is only useful when it is within the jurisdiction of purpose. Purpose is now where God begins to unveil to you the role that you have to play as an ambassador. Carrying power and running away with it is like a high tension wire that is not coordinated. You are going to kill people. Are we together now? The beauty of power is that it is channeled accordingly. It powers your fridge. Are we together? Imagine if there are all kinds of wires in your house. All carrying light. And then they are all dangling from your parlor to your kitchen. By mistake, one will touch your head and shock you. By mistake, one will touch your hand and shock you. If you want to charge your phone, you look for two wires and draw. Is that a good way to? No. It is that that power is well coordinated. They move it through walls. They channel it properly. So that you get to a point where by the time you plug your recharge or you switch on your TV or your fridge, you see everything working in your house. It is not just power that brought it. It is power that was directed to purpose. Imagine someone who kicks a car and fires on 180 and just rests his head. That is power manifesting as speed but not channeled towards a direction. So let me tell you, because this is now the carelessness of my generation of ministers. We have contended through fasting, prayer and doctrine for power but we have not managed ourselves with purpose. So there is a lot of excess, you know, misbehaviors and all kinds of things people do with power, especially the prophetic and the apostolic ministry, respectfully speaking. All of this mismanagement is because there is so much power locked up, but there is no purpose. When you contend for power and you do not have purpose, it's, it's almost as if you will explode. So there are many things. They will call you to come and raise offering. You will talk for one hour and prophesy and preach and say this and say, look, I know it's just offering, but just allow me. And the people are saying, what kind of indiscipline is this? It's because until you find purpose, purpose is what gives value to empowerment. So all this power you have given me, Lord, to what end? And he says, I have given you the power to prosper. Now you have 10 billion coming per annum. That is too much money for your personal life. I'm telling you, you will think that is small, but use 10 billion for yourself again and again. You will see that there is a kind of problem only that kind of money brings to your life. You will solve the problem of lack and want, but the problem of wickedness and thieves and distrust. So the 10 billion is coming because God expects that you will know the purpose, that no crusade should happen around you without your seed going. You see, so the more you are channeling that money to purpose, you will see that as it is coming, it's not killing you. That's why a river flows unhindered. But by the time you put a blockade, the water starts building and it will now flood somewhere and even destroy the home. Many believers in church, and I say this respectfully speaking to even servants of God, while we are training young people in church, let's create channels for that river to flow. If not, when somebody who, say for instance, is in a youth class and you are teaching the person and the person becomes so anointed, so powerful, and the only thing he's doing is cleaning chairs, there will be trouble in that church because that level of power is too much for that assignment. You see what causes a lot of trouble? And the guy is boiling and there's fire rushing in his bones. He does not know what to do. The next thing you go to one member's house and say, listen, I, can I do a Bible study with you? It's not, it's not just rebellion. It is that power must be channeled to purpose. Are we learning now? <laughs> I have to stop here. Let's pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you for this morning, this afternoon. We bless you for helping us and showing us mercy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare standing on the grace of the man of God. And I pray that God who has shown us mercy now, in the name of Jesus, will continue to show us mercy. Amen. We will experience tremendous transformation Amen. as we submit ourselves to learning, submit ourselves to doctrine. In the name of Jesus, I declare that there will be empowerment upon our lives Amen. to defend everything we claim the king is able to do. Amen. And finally, I declare that God will reveal to us with precision 
the purposes that are connected to the power that he releases upon us in the name of Jesus may the Lord bless you Amen. may the Lord increase Amen. you in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. for healing you are trusting God for an open door prophetic declarations are powerful the Bible says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved prophetic words are not just pronunciations prophetic words move beyond the realm of your hearing to the realm of the spirit they program and they create possibilities he says i have been commanded to bless hallelujah praise the name of the lord so i'm going to stand in faith with the angel over this house and his dear wife and indeed the corporate anointing in this place just to speak over our lives i want you to please receive receive expecting to return with a testimony do you believe that Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the Olive Brook Church. Thank you for Pastor Jibril and his precious wife. Thank you because you have allowed us the opportunity to serve your grace, your wisdom, your power, even to your people. Thank you for the many people who have come gathered here today, scattered across this auditorium and outside, the many more who are following online. I declare, oh God, that every prophetic word that comes out from now, let it be backed up by your power and let it produce potent results. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare over your life as a church and as individuals in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everything that represents shame and represents reproach in your life it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now i decree and declare that everything that looks like delay delay it looks like you've been stagnated in one position not going forward i prophesy to you according to exodus 14 12 to 14 in the name of jesus go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus Let me declare Psalm 112 over your life. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said, His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. I pray for your children. In the name of Jesus, they will not be small. In the name of Jesus, they will not be mediocre. And then he says, The generation of the upright shall be blessed. He says, Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and yet his righteousness endures forever. In the name that is above all names, every door that has been closed towards your life, please hear me. I declare over you this week, this week, not next week, I prophesy that those doors are open now. And the axe head fell and they said alas master it was borrowed and he said where fell it let me pray for someone who is owing in debt or any kind of financial trouble by the power of the prophetic i decree and declare may god use men to bring you out of that tragic situation in the name of jesus christ the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon god uses men to lift men i don't know which human vessel has been programmed by god to partner with the spirit for your rising but in the name of jesus wherever they are i command them to show up in your life i command them to show up in your destiny in the name of jesus christ And David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called on a man called Ziba, sent him to Lodeba to go and fetch a crippled man called Mephibosheth. And they brought Mephibosheth and he would remain in the king's palace forever. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the David that will send for you and honor you even at a global scale, I command them to show up now. I command them to show up now. In the name of Jesus. 
the Bible says now Jericho was shut nothing could come in and nothing could go out there are limitations like that they stand before you nothing goes in nothing goes out they just represent an inconvenience but the Bible says at the shout the seventh shout on the seventh day that the wall of Jericho fell flat and it sank in I speak to every wall that stands before you hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus I command it to sink and give you way to sink and give you the right way of passage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there's a very interesting man in the Bible I just spoke about him called Mephibosheth if you study Mephibosheth the problem he entered was not his making it was the mistake of a midwife midwives are those who help to transit seasons in your life as he was coming out of his mother's womb a nurse was careless and because of the carelessness of that nurse the man became crippled forever the midwives that help us through destiny can leave us as mighty men or can leave us as Mephibosheths are we together now I want to speak because it matters there are men who help you to cross that river to the next level and if they are careless and insensitive they may cripple dimensions of your life and incapacitate you even though Mephibosheth was favored he never walked I decree and declare everyone sent by God as a midwife as a destiny helper may they play their role effectively hallelujah let me declare restoration there are two things the Bible promises to restore number one is time number two things these are very important elements of destiny when you lose time you have lost everything when you lose things you need time to have them back and God said he's powerful to restore both both the years that the canker worm has stolen and the things you have lost I speak to someone I don't know what you have lost so some of you maybe you got saved late maybe you got lazy towards spiritual things but I declare supernatural restoration now I speak prosperity to your life in the name of Jesus by divine favor may your hands be full enjoy the ministry of destiny helpers and I pray for Olive Brook Church I stand upon this exalted altar and I decree and declare step into a new season a new season of influence a new season of power a new season of wealth a new season of revelation in the name of Jesus begin to command results fearful results I speak to the two lift gates of this region I declare that you are open for the gospel you are open for advancement you are open for development by the power of the Holy Spirit and I command the controlling powers within this region in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God I command that you bow to the Lordship of Christ are going to pray my apologies for stretching a bit with the time the first prayer is going to be the prayer of mercy please listen there are many of us right now if God were to leave your harvest based on the seeds you have sown except you want to lie in the house of God you know that you have sown to the flesh carnality unseriousness prayerlessness it comes to be part of the whatsoever that can be sown jealousy hatred bitter envy wordlessness prayerlessness laxity when others were praying in the new year you were just snoring your way to a new dangerous season that requires discernment while men slept the bible says the enemy came we are going to pray standing upon the grace that is in this house that father for every negative seed 
that I have sold. I've despised the prophecy of the man of God. He has spoken over my life and I despised it. I obtained grace by the blood of Jesus. Let those negative seeds be destroyed. I do not want a harvest. Please pray. I do not desire a harvest. A future that is full of unnecessary battles. A future that is full of unnecessary battles. Let every seed that is not by the Spirit and sown in the Spirit I place a demand upon the blood. Someone is praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Just a few minutes to maximize tonight. We are making spiritual investments. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. You sow to the flesh, you will of the flesh reap destruction. You sow to the spirit, you will of the spirit reap life everlasting. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak over the negative seeds, the negative programmings. Hallelujah. Some of you have sown negative seeds by fighting your wife. The Bible tells you, you quarrel with your wife, there is no peace, your prayer will not be answered. Swallow your pride and pray. Some of you have insulted your parents, calling them names because you went to school. Negative seeds. Some of you have insulted men and women of God, calling them all kinds of names. Some of you have insulted leadership within your time. I'd like you to pray. Let the blood speak. Oh God, I do not want a future that is full of pain. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall hear it. Shalike perekato safrande beleke baruziata. Ekrebe deke barakata barasko brande belekosh. Shafrende ske peredusi bashiata has. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Aside from pastor and those in front, if you kind of like you to find a neighbor, just pair yourselves in two. You are going to pray this prayer. You are going to cry. Praying for yourself, agreeing with your neighbor, whoever you find, whether two or three. You are going to decree and declare every seed that you want to see sown of the spirit, a life of spiritual vibrancy, character, prayer, obedience. I'd like you to begin to prophesy it into the life of the person whose hand you are holding. Pray from the depth of your heart. Father David's Christian Center remains a place of fire things and God distributes those anointings in and through men. I'd like you to pray. Look at the areas in your life where you know you have not seen results. The areas in your life where you desire genuine results. I'd like you to cry with a desperate heart like blind Bartimaeus. I'd like you to begin to pray. Father, the grace that controls this dimension of results, I receive it. The grace that controls favor, I open up my heart to receive it. The grace that controls supernatural supplies I receive it the grace that controls the ministry of men I receive it the grace that controls speed the grace that controls spiritual hunger you don't just hunger after God like that no there is a grace that comes upon you by the Holy Ghost that makes you to love God beyond money love God beyond ministry it provides a hunger in you that nothing else can quench 
there is a grace that stirs up revival. You may be a man of God praying and say, Lord, the grace I need for the word, the spirit of revelation, there is an anointing that causes this word to open. It's not just because you open the Bible that um, it means you will just find things there. No, your eyes must be washed with eyes salve, and God will grant you that access. Pray, lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shabbat sobrandi gazuzia haskala barusia. There is a grace that makes for exemption that when the vicissitudes of life and the tides of life begin to, you know, become boisterous before you, there is a grace. There is a grace that distinguishes you because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. Very important. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, we're going to do it this way. Um, I like you by faith. I'm going to give you one minute, everyone, very quickly. Lift up your prayer request in your home, everywhere you are. New Heritage Baptist Church, um, if the prayer points are before the altar, that's fine. Or whatever uh, um, channel, whatever channel it is that you have, just, just make sure your heart is released. New Heritage Baptist Church, you can stretch your hands towards the altar by faith and every other person you can just lift your prayer point and in the name of Jesus stretch it towards me as I stretch my hands back by faith listen I'm an ordinary man there is nothing unique about me in myself but because of the investment of the grace of God a portion for this season this time this dispensation we have become by the privilege of his grace key words of this mystery and there is a throne that backs what we represent it's not just empty talk stretch your hands believe by faith raise your prayer request father in the name of jesus i decree and declare first over new heritage baptist church in the name of Jesus and then oh God I pray over all who are connecting by faith from the United States of America to England to Nigeria to Ghana to Kenya to South Africa and even here within the nation in the name of Jesus every city every state I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus and I declare supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus I declare supernatural miracles let the angel of your presence in the name of Jesus begin to go to homes right now I speak by the power of the Holy Spirit miracles in homes in the name of Jesus I break the bands of wickedness Satan I decree and declare by the spirit of faith that your reign and your dominion over every family of concern is terminated in the name of Jesus I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the mystery of the blood every legal access that Satan has had hitherto over families, over businesses, over ministries, over churches, over men and women of God. I stand in the name of Jesus and I declare it is broken by the blood of the eternal covenant. In the name of Jesus, anyone appointed to death, I declare that death passes away from your life in the name of Jesus. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every dying ministry. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. Come back to life in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family that is going down, going down. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you continue to come up. In Jesus' name everything that does not represent the counsel of God I come against it in the name of Jesus Satan the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I'd like you to begin to declare over your request father I stand in faith and I declare that everything I have written will return as a testimony someone praying lift your voice and begin to pray Lift your voice and begin to pray. Genesis 21. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 21 verse 1. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. Kapo Sabranda Gadoziata. Lord, that which I have written will never, never have to be rewritten again. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of God supernatural miracles. The Bible says in Genesis 21 and verse 1, And the Lord visited Sarah 
as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken very interesting the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and then the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken so he said it first and he did it I like you to pray father you have said it now do it you have said it through the mouth of your servant now do it you have said it through the word now do it in the name of Jesus do that which you have declared that will happen in my life in my family in my finances in my spiritual life in the name of Jesus Christ lift your voice and pray 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 I'm praying for you now from the depth of my heart I'm praying for you now I'm praying for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you now now before I pray on the anointing oil I just sense a very strong healing anointing here right now I know that the Lord wants to bring supernatural miracles and please listen to me as I pray for you the power of God is going to touch you and I want you to share your testimony you can use the social media platforms especially for New Heritage Baptist Church let them know what God is doing in your life right now please I want you to lay your hands right now everywhere in your body you're trusting God for a miracle it could be your head it could be your abdominal region if it's a part of your body you cannot easily touch just lay hand on lay your hand on your chest right now I want to pray for you thank you Jesus my God there's such a strong anointing in this place in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I declare right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name I rebuke sickness I rebuke infirmity I rebuke sickness in the name of Jesus I rebuke blood diseases hear the word of the Lord I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I rebuke tumors I rebuke cancers in the name of Jesus I rebuke HIV I rebuke bone conditions in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke respiratory conditions in the name of Jesus begun by the power of the Holy Spirit there's someone you are having a severe pain around your ears in the name of Jesus I speak to you right now by the Spirit of grace be healed you can hear it's not like you cannot hear but there's severe pain I declare that pain leaves now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone is like you have stroke it's like you have stroke I cause that stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ there is a lady I'm seeing is like you have a lump around your breast area I'm declaring to you the moment I pray right now check yourself you will find out that a miracle has happened in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle for you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus there's someone you are watching me right now the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you you are a minister of the gospel but the Lord is saying he's introducing certain graces in your life you have been fasting and you have been praying you didn't even know about this broadcast until this evening right now I'm seeing a strong anointing upon you and the Lord is saying he's opening you up to a very strange teaching ministry it's a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace and you will minister with power genuine authentic spiritual power in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare to everyone who is sick be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now heart palpitations I curse you in the name of Jesus diabetes be healed in the name of Jesus peptic ulcer I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed heart conditions of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus Jesus there is a woman you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for nine years you are following right now for nine years in the name of Jesus I speak to you prophetically according to the time of life return with your child you are going to have a baby boy in the name of Jesus I prophesy this by the power of the Holy Spirit my God will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ 
there is a i'm seeing two ladies you are watching you have what we call the issue of blood whether it's your monthly period or not you you continue um to have that that severe issue of blood and and it's a serious thing in the name of jesus i stretch my hand right now by the power of the holy spirit be made whole this moment now whether i mention your case or not i bring you the life and the power of the holy spirit be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now in the name of jesus there's someone you just fell under the anointing right where you are watching the power of god just came on you as you stand up now you will find out that the pain around your back area in the name of jesus it is gone now and gone forever gone now and gone forever in the name of jesus gone now and gone forever i'm seeing a man you are a pastor you are a pastor and you are not watching this now but next week tuesday you are going to be watching this video you are not yet watching it now but next week tuesday you are in the u.s you are going to be watching this video and in the name of jesus the pain that you have and around your limb area by the time you are watching this video and receiving this prayer you will marvel and wonder at the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus let there be supernatural healing for you supernatural healing supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit supernatural healing in the name of jesus one of the mothers i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision one of the mothers in new heritage baptist church your daughter is sick i don't know what the problem is but this is something that that has to do with it looks like it's, a, it's a, a, a condition that has to do with blood in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I declare let there be a miracle right now I forbid death I forbid death in the name of Jesus death by accident in the name of Jesus and I use this opportunity to minister to you in addition to all the efforts that our doctors and nurses and all the medical personnel continue to to bring to the table to help ward off the coronavirus i declare by the spirit that you are exempted in your going out and in your coming in you have no covenant with death in the mighty name of jesus christ now very quickly i want you to lift up your bottles of anointing oil and for the church there i'm going to pray on the oil once i pray on the oil then even when the broadcast is over you can just anoint yourself by faith listen the miracle is not in the oil you can put oil on your head and nothing happens uh it is not the ritual it is the faith in the word of god the faith in the principle of the kingdom that empowers that oil lift that oil stretch it towards me if you can father in the name of jesus there are probably are thousands of oils lifted by faith in the name of jesus may the power of the holy ghost step upon that medium that oil as a point of contact and lord i pray that as your people apply that oil by faith according to the provisions of scripture let it bring breakthroughs oh god let it bring miracles let it bring signs let it bring wonders in the name of jesus let this oil be an oil of judgment over wickedness let this oil in the name of jesus be an oil of faith let this oil be an oil of speed let this oil be an oil of lifting in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be miracles as you apply this oil in the name of Jesus let there be all kinds of supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like us to pray prophetically over new heritage baptist church over the man of god over the membership all over the world in the name of jesus lift your voice in one accord and let's pray for new heritage baptist church we decree and declare your path is as a shining light shining ever brighter even unto the perfect day we decree and declare you have no covenant with death we forbid you from being small you will continue to manifest the glory of god in that church the least among you becomes as great as david in the name of jesus the old and the young alike you are blessed in the name of jesus the fullness of your 
your days you will fulfill. I bless you with the blessings of heaven. We join forces as believers online, captured through the mystery of the cloud, and we speak over your life. New Heritage Baptist Church, go from glory to glory. All the churches and ministries connected to you, we declare they are experiencing the power of God. We pray for the pastorate, we pray for the deaconry, the eldership in the name of Jesus. Experience the lifting power of Jesus. Let there be such dramatic testimonies in this church, even beginning from tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that you will experience the grace of God supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Now, not flowing in that body, and yet when the master said, Lazarus, Kala Parvul Siata. The same way in the name of Jesus, we are going to be making decrees. Now, hear me. When the word of the Lord comes for your healing, you have two responsibilities. Number one, to believe in Jesus and to believe in the vessel that he's using. Number two, to take a step of faith. What is a step of faith? Actions of obedience. The Bible says, as they went, not when they wanted to go, Go and show yourself to the priest. That was suicidal. If they ever appeared before the priest leprous, they would be banished forever. As they went. That means when the power of God comes, if you couldn't walk, you have to take a step of faith. Remember, Acts chapter 3. Silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have, give I unto you in the name of jesus rise up and walk the bible says the man sat down and was watching and he held his hand and lifted him and he leaping stood if you lay your hands and they pray and you're just watching you most likely may not receive anything you receive by faith and you begin to check yourself it's a condition that you need to run to the medical stand to ask them to check you. Oh, I, I came with HIV and the word has come. I need to go there to check. My blood pressure, for instance, is whatever over, over whatever. The most important thing is that report is not good. I need this change. And once they pray, you don't sit down and say, I believe. Please check this for me. You see, let me tell you, medicine and the supernatural were not designed to be enemies medicine confirms the supernatural that's why you don't fight doctors those who fight doctors to show that they are powerful are in ignorance doctors are symbols of god's mercy medicine if you are truly healed science will confirm it if you are healed of hiv or cancer or whatever it is um it is the medical confirmation that validates to us that the power of god has really come but to believe that the power of God cannot correct bodily conditions is to insult the resurrection power. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. We had such profound, phenomenal miracles in Joss. Um, yesterday, particularly during the miracle service, it was such a humbling move of the Spirit of God. You can do well to watch the video for your own personal edification. I believe that it should be on our koinonia global page or so just watch it and learn it's not just to show that a man of god is powerful especially for those of you who are in ministry there's something about watching to see the power of god on display these are not some gimmicks that you're playing games no it's one thing to be healed at home and come and testify but it's another thing to testify real time are we together you can go to a shop for instance to buy popcorn the one they've made two days old three days old but there are people who will leave that one and they want the one that is popping there is an experience people love freshness this is why it's good that you receive testimonies and come and testify but there's something about the power of god on display real time it proves to people here and now that jesus is still alive are you ready now in one minute i'd like you to declare that any sickness within your body that is not of god any planting it must live right now and if you are standing for someone i know there are people watching in hospitals there are people watching by sick beds i want you to believe take your eyes away from the infirmity and pray Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, 
the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place, take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe upon that fibroid, breathe upon that lump, breathe upon that genotype issue, breathe upon that bone condition, breathe upon HIV. Breathe upon cancer. Breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis. Breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues. Breathe upon weakness in body. Breathe upon eye conditions. Breathe upon ear conditions. Breathe upon reproductive issues. Breathe upon digestive issues. Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I am going to pray. There are so many people outside and all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe give Jesus a chance Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God I believe in miracles I truly believe in miracles and right now I want to pray for you now listen don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that Mary asked that question already how shall these things be seen that I know not a man? He said the power of the highest. So the power of the highest is about to overshadow you. And listen. Listen. How the Holy Spirit got to the womb of Mary. Leave that to the intelligence of God. That is the same way his power. He does not need to open you with a surgical knife. He can get to your systems, your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when i pray for you i want you to believe whether or not i mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and i'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you check yourself, I'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere, inside and outside. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, if and when I ask you to come out, I want you to come out. Don't be afraid. The moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before, believe in Jesus. Take your eyes away from the sickness. I learned this from Benny Hinn. He said in, in all his years of crusading around the globe, he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed. And so worship helps us to focus on Jesus. And you take your eyes away from the bodily condition. And the moment you look at Jesus, you are changed into that which you are seeing. Place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand in for someone i see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give jesus a chance just help those under the anointing i'm about to pray right now and i'm praying in the name of jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely 
the centurion stood in for his child majesty just keep your hand there your majesty your grace has found me just as i am empty-handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence of Keep those hands there now. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. The healing power of Jesus is flowing. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Shabala sabrande gebaratush kalibra hasia. One more time. You do mighty things. You do such healing streams in this place right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God, the one exalted. Today as Lord and Christ, I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity. I rebuke the root cause of every disease. I rebuke the root cause of every plague. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit, help those under the anointing. Every spirit of infirmity every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i banish you from these bodies right now in jesus name now i decree and declare in the name of jesus be healed now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you the life and power of Jesus be made whole right now in Jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of jesus i command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear i declare the ears open right now in jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin i declare by the power that raised christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all i decree and declare be healed now the lord is ministering to me my god i'm here to help that gentleman i'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of jesus christ and i'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from federal medical center here in abuja the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum 
the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the help them please the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ back pain the lord is healing back pain in the name of jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now i declare begin to walk in the name of jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you i don't know if, is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of jesus let that sense be restored now i've seen god minister this case before that he's showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of jesus the power of god is coming upon you right now and i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus christ be healed right now the lord is healing a condition i'm seeing a vision and i'm seeing pid this is what i'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of jesus i decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now now the lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman i'm not a doctor um and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant I see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a, a condition that you have. Right now, the power of God, I don't know where that person is. Right now, the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here. 22 months of carrying a child. 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the lord i flush it out right now now listen we're still praying it is it is still i'm still ministering healing but i'm seeing the power of god moving away i'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what i'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of God is coming upon you right now at least 21 people be healed in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now i don't know i'm seeing someone i don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain i don't know if you are following online but in the name of jesus i want you to release your faith i bring you life be healed now be healed now i'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary urinary problem from what god is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what god is telling me outside in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you 
or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of jesus christ i command that devil to let you go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood i don't know what that condition is but you're urinating blood in the name of jesus right now as i'm praying for you may the power of god touch you now there's someone you've been feeling something on your throat it's as if um you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten it's a demonic condition in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the babbling saloon and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and uh, of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name we change medical conditions right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus be healed in Jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition I'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you noticed it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody 
I'm seeing this is a demonic thing. It looks like a lump, but if we don't pray against it, they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because I'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body. We curse that spirit now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm watching a vision right now and I'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rotting I don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache I'm going to mention a condition right now and when I mention that condition the power of God will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family I'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat to, you are carrying that thing within you the power of God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get or uh, you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of jesus i rebuke that demonic thing from your blood be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's a lady right now as i'm speaking to you you came here with terrible abdominal pain like abdominal pain it looks like there's fire all around your stomach you're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves you will never feel it again i bring you healing right now in jesus name now i believe that several miracles have happened here not just the ones that i i i you know i declared by the word of knowledge there are several people who have been healed this is what i want you to do we're going to hurry up I'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself already miracles are happening I will ask you to quickly please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those who are following online you can send in your testimonies all across the world let us know what the Lord is doing for you right now there are people within this auditorium and there are people outside this a place the overflows even across the road the power of God has touched you check yourself I want you to make your way very quickly and come and stand here let's have a few testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they come celebrate them very quickly as they come hallelujah now while they are coming are you seeing the Lord touching people koinonia is this the best you can do please open the doors for those who are coming from several overflows let them make their way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ whilst you are seated in the next one or two minutes I want you to pray in the spirit and declare that the spirit of poverty and lack over my life just do what I'm asking you to do break it right now by prayer lift your voice and pray whilst you are seated everywhere those who have been healed make your way to the front make your way to the front in the name of Jesus while we are praying check yourself outside any and all miracles check yourself all the overflows do what you couldn't do before you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly do so very quickly Jesus is healing Jesus is healing you could not move your body move your body right now you couldn't see far try to look far right now Please make sure you direct those who are coming from outside if you need to open the doors for them let's know so that we have them here quickly those who are healed and coming from outside check yourself in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead you are rebuking the spirit that is behind poverty you are rebuking the spirit that is back of poverty 
there are principles but there are spirits it is God's desire to prosper you keep coming keep coming in the name of Jesus miracles are happening by the spirit healings are happening by the spirit miracles are happening the Lord is also showing me a woman you gave birth and since you put to birth your body has not been normal something happened to you and it looks like you've been sick having like fever again and again and again long after you are done giving birth the power of God is also touching you right now and he's bringing you healing he's bringing you life in the name of Jesus if you're coming to share your testimony make your way to the front very quickly Usher's protocol, let's direct them very quickly so that we save time. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are Lord, mighty are your miracles. I stand in awe. Of your holy name, and Lord, we bow and worship. Awesome God, how great Thou art! You alone, mighty are Your miracles. Standing on. Some of them can move here. There's no space. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sir, this man wearing white, please can you stand? Don't be embarrassed. Can you place your hand on your neck? I want to pray for you. I don't know what is there, but the Lord is asking me to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the anointing of the Spirit bring you life right now. And bring you healing. I command a release for you right now. In Jesus' name I pray hallelujah now just hold on before we start taking the testimonies please sit if you can please sit if you can just just bring everybody out now who begins to shout under the anointing whether inside or outside i'm seeing angelic activities the lord is bringing an end to very strange mysterious occurrences bring them everywhere all over the overflows There's something mysterious God is removing from lives and families. Bring them out. We're talking about the power of Jesus here. Bring them out. You can't stand it. It's not, it is, this is a word from God. God is separating you. He's bringing something out. You will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this. Remember, Christ is revealed as the power of God. There are still more people. I saw so many people in my visions. That anointing is coming on you. All over. The overflow. Outside. 
literally an anointing will lift you from your seat literally let the end come now in the name of jesus let the end come now captivity always has an end let the end come now around the balconies i'm seeing angelic activities around the balconies in the name of jesus let the end come now let the end come now in the name of jesus christ let the end you you can't stand this is the power of god come who can stand against the lord no one can no one will who can stand against our king no one can no one will oh Just be patient, we'll take the testimonies. But God is doing something here right now. I'm looking at 14 people. 14 people. I'm looking at you in the spirit, but I'm not seeing a face. I'm seeing you covered. You know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood. The Lord is lifting that hood right now. That is the garment of shame. 14 people. The power of God is coming on you now. 14 people. The garment of shame. The garment of shame we tear off that garment now from your destiny tear off that garment from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ That lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now Who is Chinedu? I'm hearing a name Chinedu. Who is that? Chinedu. Now, the overflow outside. I want you to prepare. I want to pray a prayer for you. Something is going to happen outside. The overflow outside. Who is Chinedu? Where are you from, my friend? State. I'm no, from I this man. Abia State. Huh? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will leave them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity huh? yes. Yes. that was worshipped, yes. you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes, yes. What did they tell you about the deity? That there is a deity that was worshipped. Yes. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes. Because I see you, you are a sincere man, but if I don't help you, you are rising and going down. You are rising. No, no, give him the mic. And you are going down. I want to pray for you. There's nothing to cry about, my friend. Please look up so that we'll save time. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, 
I pray right now. I use him as a point of contact. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking. But the power of God is touching you because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chine, do all of you? I will pray with you. There's one of you here when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call because... You need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I command that spirit, anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back, paraka baratuzia, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, worship of deity, there are some of you here, you even see these deities appear to you. Right now I command, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let them go now. Release their names. Every name submitted in any shrine, submitted before any altar for your destruction, I declare be free now. Help that man, be free now. I set that shrine and that altar on fire, on fire. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. And for all of you who are here in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, the Chinadus. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God is taking something out of your body. I declare be free right now in the name of jesus christ now please hear me don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed this is a miracle service there is someone is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest like like a um um what they call them now who is that person i want to pray for you something is happening here directly i don't mean maybe directly your father a priest a hap, like a i don't want to use a, a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here your name is to be hallowed your name is to be worshipped Adonai. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please don't listen carefully. Don't misunderstand me. We are not saying you are evil people, and we are not saying your parents. They, they. I'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices. Listen. There is one of you here, don't feel bad. I'm going to pray for you. What your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people and the causes of so many people are on that family. Listen to me, what I'm telling you. Because, I, well, I don't know now, it's difficult to, I'm I have to just obey what God is telling me. Please don't come out carelessly. I'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family. We're all from Africa. I mean if your father directly was involved in this no no if they if they are there let them i will pray for them but one of you i'm sorry to use that expression your father is a herbalist he has been responsible for the death of many people including a man of god and there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family we have to pray again this is a family of love. I hope you understand what I'm doing. And please, we are not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people. Remember that the anointing comes. Jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Because there are some of you here, you will think it's a joke. The, the ill speaking of people as a result of diabolic things. 
do you know that every herbalist has children and when you say oh god destroy those who have caused me pain what do you think you are saying hallelujah young lady my dear look at me this fair lady where are you from Siva. huh christ Siva. Ah, jesus christ out of her now in the name of jesus ah. my goodness my god you see let me tell you this please hold on um you know when i teach it's good to listen to me listen to everything i'm saying and i'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages make sure that when you are putting these things you put everything we say don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people there are two families here married couple this is the real cause of the problem in your marriage the cause that has come as a it, it's all right my friend what is it you're a herbalist my is a sorcerer. Huh? Sorcerer. Your, my father no no don't worry don't feel bad eh? where are you coming from i'm from edo Akoko. don't worry i'll pray with you parents let's repent and serve jesus you see all this trouble that people parents i mean fathers grandfathers and you if you are coming from a family of idol worship don't let idol worship come out of you be that bridge are we together look how many people are here all of these people will be married some are married what do you think will happen to that home some are in business this is why you can invite somebody and say come let's do business together you just thought that you are inviting just a body but you may not know you are inviting altars and every time believers pray and say god punish evil doers what do you think will happen that's why it takes the ministry of the blood we just finished a ministry on deliverance this particular lady i just prayed for from cross river i need to pray because there is something terrible in this family one of you here your father hurry be to god but you can tell them you too can have that same testimony let me show you the forces that were at work now you start like a lecturer with confidence the force of prayer you will tell them the force of fasting the force of light and hope that they do not think you are playing games with them because if they ignore these forces i submit to you by the authority of scripture anybody who ignores any of these forces you have signed in to live a defeated life perpetually so but now thanks be to god the bible says which causes us always to triumph how does he cause us to triumph by giving us access to light access to light let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. One more time. The Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. going to shout seven hallelujah and at the seven shout listen this is an instruction that just came to me by the spirit you see the way of the spiritual man the bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell where it is going nor where it is coming that is the pathway of one who is led by the spirit many times God will give instructions that may not seem to make sense but in the foolishness of the leadership of the spirit is the breakthrough of the saints 
Are we together now? The word hallelujah is broken in two. It's halal Yeshua. Praise the Lord. The Bible says praise ye the Lord to praise him in the firmament of his power. Every time you halal Yeshua, you will cause and compel according to scripture. It says let God arise. The king rises with a shout. He says the shout of a king is in the midst of them. So the word hallelujah is not just a Christian chant. It is halal Yeshua. Do you know what it means to praise? To praise means to extol, to flaunt the quality of a man. That means when you say you are great, you are brilliant, it's like reading out the credential of that man. And the moment you begin to do that, you compel him to reproduce that thing again. So in saying hallelujah, it's a prophetic chant that means anything good about God. Hallelujah suffices to say you are great. Hallelujah suffices to say you are the warrior. Hallelujah suffices to say you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. Everything that makes him God is captured in that word. Halal Yeshua. We're going to shout it seven times. And very quickly, I want you to please bring those under the anointing. I truly believe like it was in Jericho a city that was shot nothing went in nothing went out at the seventh time there was a shout and the bible says the wall of jericho it went down and it sank for someone at the end of this shout you will look and not find the things that that have stood as mountains for you again are you ready now i will call the number and you will shout hallelujah one Two, three, four, five, six, are you ready now? Seven. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome tied everyone here by the power that raised Christ from the dead be loose now be loose now be loose now I lose every chain I lose every chain ancestral chains chains of darkness chains of limitation I command be loose right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm declaring because that's what I saw in the spirit. Chains. I'm still saying it again. I don't know what has tied your hands. A symbol of your productivity. Your feet. A symbol of your motion. But in the name of Jesus. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That chain be broken right now. That chain. Be broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Every time your hands are bound and your feet is bound, even though you have eyes, you have a mind to think, you will not be able to make progress. I'm about to pray again. 
the binding of your hand and your feet is a prophetic statement because there are some of you you've been unable to move forward some of you have been unable to be productive I pray right now I don't know who I'm speaking to but I speak as one sent of God every spirit that has tied you everything that has bound you release them now release them now release them now release them now in the name of Jesus I declare be released right now be released right now and every family that has been bound you came here bound not understanding what is the mystery behind the hardship and the occurrences in your family in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare you are released this moment 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 The Lord is asking me to break covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement that binds people and binds territories and binds families. When it has to do with dominion over covenants, that is the ministry of the blood. The blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, any family here and any individual who is under covenants of ancestry, covenants that lead to poverty, covenants that bind people, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. That fire will come upon you and that covenant must be broken. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free by the blood of Jesus. Help them please. Be free, my God. Be free, be free, be free. Be free. be free from every covenant, every ordinance, every covenant. I say it again, be free. Covenants are powerful. They can tie men and tie destinies. Please bring them out demonic covenants holding people down listen whether you come from the north I'm still praying whether you come from the south can I tell you every territory has covenants regardless the territory I'm prophesying to you right now every territory that is connected to the soil of where you come from the apparacos that has tied down your life in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, let that covenant be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. I have taught you here. How do you know the presence of a covenant? The presence of a covenant is tested by the existence of patterns. The existence of patterns. It is happening to your brother. It is happening to your sister. It is happening to your father. The moment you see a repetition of patterns, I'm praying for someone again. Everything you have seen, maybe with your father, your mother, it is now happening to you. Lack of progress, lack of jobs, barrenness, unfruitfulness. I declare, let it break now. 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 Every covenant that is not of God I'd like you to shout this after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying my life tying my family by the blood it is broken now. Open your
your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ oh it is broken thus far have you come no further shall you go in the name of Jesus broken by the blood of the eternal covenant every negative covenant covenants of disfavor covenants of unfruitfulness covenants of retrogression it is broken someone pray open your mouth and pray in one minute spirits of ancestry demonic manifestations in dreams in Jesus name in Jesus name now hear me I want to take the time to pray for the sick but can I tell you this I said it I don't know if it was last year or this year that I saw an onslaught of sickness that God wants to restore the healing anointing again and I'm going to do an impartation of that in the course of the service but listen whether you are sick or not you are going to pray and in this prayer you are going to announce to the realm of the spirit that this body is touched not listen I was having a discussion with our medical people whilst visiting them I think it was a uh, day before yesterday and we we're just having discussions and you cannot imagine how many healthy people someone for instance can be AA and all of a sudden maybe preparing for marriage they can go for test and you will see another report and wonder where it came from can I tell you if you keep quiet over your body the devil will cut short your life someone shout it say in the name of Jesus I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost every planting of sickness and infirmity leave now open your mouth and pray every planting of infirmity every sickness go ahead and pray that devil must leave your body now Pray that cancer out. Pray that HIV out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray that arthritis out. Pray that blood disease out in the name of Jesus. Oh, I will not die. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. That blood infection, you leave this body. Migraines, you leave this body. Hepatitis. You leave this body. Someone is praying. Rheumatoid arthritis, tumors, growths. We cost you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know, no matter how, no matter how medically conscious you are, there are many people who carry all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and do not even know and then some of them are not a medical situation so you go and use your machines to do all your diagnosis and it shows that you are perfectly fine yet the patient is telling you I know that there is something wrong we are going to pray one more time before I begin to pray for the sick I don't know about you but the fullness of my days I will spend and no devil of darkness I don't care whether they say it's hereditary it came from your father your mother open your mouth and cast it out of your life ladies pray gentlemen pray no cancer no prostrate open your mouth and pray I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the son of the living God it will not come not by age not because you are giving birth no reject it in the name of Jesus
Rakata barantos koto friendes kapere kotas kapere touch. Health is my portion. In the name of Jesus, health is my portion. The fullness of my days I fulfill. Hallelujah. 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 I still want to pray. Now I want you to bring this set of people out to join these ones. I'm going to pray. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw written bad luck. You know what bad luck is? We call it bad luck. But in the kingdom, it is disfavor. But I saw the name bad luck. There are many people, it works for others until it gets to your turn. And mysteriously, I want to rebuke that spirit. Believe me, there is a spirit behind the circles of disfavor. It looks like things don't just work in your life. And I saw the power of God coming on many people. I decree and declare right now, if there is anybody, some of you are standing in for the sake of your families. Any family here that is wept in this orchestration of disfavor, we call it bad luck. At the count of three, let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come upon you. One, two, three, be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Shake it, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. That wicked spirit, let it leave you now. And even your families, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You see, as we sojourn in life, as we sojourn in life, I have taught you and I will teach you again and again. The forces that are at work in your life, negatively or positively, that is what controls the outcomes that are in your life. If you carry, for instance, the force of favor, imagine the kinds of physical things that will happen to you. And then if you carry this kind of wicked forces of disfavor, imagine what happens to you. It is not the physical occurrences. They are only responding to something in the realm of the spirit that is upon you or around you negatively or positively hallelujah negatively or positively I'm saying it again bad luck that spirit that has followed anyone here and is following anyone online there are even people abroad you may think it's supposed to be an edge and an advantage but these same forces have followed them and rubbish their life and their dignity of living in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be set free now be set free now be set free now Hallelujah. Be set free now. The Lord is showing me a family. What I see in my vision, I'm seeing five of you. Nobody has a job. You are graduates, no job. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. Please make sure you hear the prophetic word. Don't just jump out. Listen attentively. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Who is that? Come. Graduates, five, no job. Huh? Five boys, no work, sir. Five boys, boys yes, sir. graduates, graduates sir. no job. No job. Where are you from? I'm from Quara State, sir. Quara State. Yes, sir. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Listen. There's power in the name of Jesus, oh. Don't get used to pain. Believe me, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, you came with your certificate? This, uh, yeah. Look at this here, sir. I, I'm, this, I'm not getting you. This is my NYC certificate, sir. Oh, this is your NYC certificate. Don't, don't worry, book. my brother. God has located you. Now, you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, five people, graduates, and then no job because of how demonic the devil can be sitting on the destinies of people you think it is a coincidence let me use them as a point of contact to pray for someone here every spirit that has vowed that shame must remain with you in the name that is above all names as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you let that closed door be open now 
Be open now. Help them. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I declare by prophecy here supernatural jobs for you. Now, you imagine, watch this now. Imagine, for instance, this our dear brother, five boys. You imagine that you are the father or the mother. Now you've given birth to children. Let's assume you did not make the most with your own life. You are hoping and trusting that in your lifetime that these children will become sons of consolation like the Bible will call them. Five of them. No job. You may be saying, Apostle, we are two. Even if you are the only one, I declare in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, hear me by prophecy, wherever your job is, in this nation or around the world, may my God locate you. May my God locate you. Mama, may my God locate your children. And for all of you who have come out for this word, I stretch my hands and I declare, the same way you have come out, that is how you will come and stand here to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, you have a brother who passes out. I don't know what they call it medically. Like the person is it's like fainting, but the person just passes out like that who is that person I want to pray for you very quickly come where is he huh? He's in Jabi. I wanted him to come today, but he didn't come he couldn't come no I problem you stand for him he passes out yes, sir. how how frequent so recently it happened five times in one day I'm seeing a lady coming too and then he bleeds from his mouth and then he bleeds from his mouth how about you my dear Discipler, he passes out. Your disciple? Yeah. I want to pray for you. When God reveals, it is because his power has gone ahead to bring an end to that tragedy. Remember, there was once a gentleman in the Bible who had suffered epilepsy the bible says he will fall in the midst of fire do you know what that means imagine if this person wants to cross the road and that demonic thing happens you can lie down there in the junction you see the key to opening your heart in a meeting like this is to have a heart of sympathy and compassion don't wait you have to put yourself in the shoes of others to feel what happens when god gives a prophetic word even if it is not a word for you you know in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you, your disciple and your brother, using you both as points of contact for as many who are releasing their faith. I don't know what demonic walking is this that makes you or your loved ones to pass out, but by the blood of the eternal covenant, that tragedy, that occurrence comes to a permanent end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, comes to a permanent end now comes to a permanent end now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone um, the Lord is asking me to pray for you you are a policeman but this is tragedy over your family it's like nothing is happening I, I, I this is this is this is what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me you didn't wear your uniform to work but you are a policeman I don't know who that person is. If there is such a person, you are a policeman. Where are you from, sir? I am I serve in Abuja here, but I'm from Benue State. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? I do. I believe in Jesus. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Sir, the power of God is coming on you. 
this man, this officer, I'm seeing a spirit behind you. I know you are a policeman, but let me pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. This thing is not even just the spirit of tragedy, it's even the spirit of death. I decree and declare, sir, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be free from it right now. I'm seeing it again, the spirit of death. This man is a police officer. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. You are a police officer too? From where, sir? Kaduna State, sir. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? No, sir. There is a spirit from where you come from. Huh? And I know this and I agree because, respectfully speaking, this is not just... A regional thing this is not just from where you come from there are many other states that have that tragedy the person who rises up ends up dying is that true this is true yes, I need to pray for you because like this man I'm seeing the spirit of death I'm not a prophet of doom yes, that's why I said will you be embarrassed if I talk to you and this thing I'm seeing is like an armed robbery operation and then something happened and then like being shot or something I want to pray for you there is nothing you cannot do if you have said it then you will do it ha my friend how long have you been in the police force it's two years sir will you believe another thing if i tell you yes sir you are not going to be in the police force for too long I'm seeing that God is, you are going to be a great entrepreneur. And God is, this is what I'm, please listen. Every prophecy I give you is subject to your partnership with God. But this is what I'm telling you, go and write it. You are going to do something that has not been done in your family. I'm telling you this. Because now there's, there's no profession, there's nothing wrong with any profession. But in your heart, this is not really what you want to do. Huh? Sir. And this is even affecting your productivity because you are just there and something is telling you, do not feel bad. You were there for a reason. There are many times that God passes us through things. If Joseph did not get into the well and Potiphar's house, he would not appreciate sitting at the throne. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let the grace that lifts men, let the grace that helps men rise, may that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you, you will not die. You will not be a victim of tragedy by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I'm hearing a name, Rosaline. 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 I believe that's a female name. Rosaline. Is there someone with that name? I just want to pray for you very quickly. If there's someone, Rosaline, who is that? Please, if you are... If you are the one, don't waste our time so that we'll pray quickly. Rosaline. That's your name? The name your parents gave you? Yes, sir. You're Rosaline too? I want to pray for you. Now, don't come out. I want to pray, but something surprising will happen now. There is a lady here. The spirit that follows you, only married men look for you. A responsible man who loves Jesus and is born again it looks like there's something that always I'm not saying you should come out you are not these are not part of Rosaline is what I'm calling now this one I'm praying but the power of God wherever you are this I'm seeing this this lady you have cried to God you are a nice lady and you have said Lord take away this reproach from my life I'm praying right now the anointing of the Spirit wherever you are that anointing is locating you the spirit that brings only married men who have no business coming to talk to you and they seem to come and bother you and disturb you in the name of Jesus Christ please help them I declare right now that curse that is upon you let it be broken let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now Rosaline, let me pray for you. There's one of you, the Lord is taking away 
this thing about death again one of you standing here the power of God is coming on you this is the manifestation of the spirit of death Lord in the name of Jesus anyone here who has been trapped by this demonic manifestation release them now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ we declare upon you you will not die and everything that has kept your family bound I'm prophesying to you Rosaline by the power that raised Christ from the dead go and excel I release you to go and excel in the name of Jesus we we'll have to be very fast there is I'm seeing a gentleman here this is a pattern that has happened you never do well academically once I'm seeing you have written Wayek I'm seeing the number six this is six times and you have still not made your papers I don't know who that person is is there someone like that or maybe your brother or so please let's hurry up I'm, I'm only speaking because God himself is revealing this case to me and I have to obey and honor God else I would have just spoken over the person and then we continue Wayek, I'm seeing six times you've written or is it someone related to you and you've not been able to make your paper at all this is a pattern it looks like your your siblings or people in your family they don't seem to be able to excel in one sitting whether the person is inside or outside um, if, if for distance you cannot make it let me just know so I just speak a word and then we continue because I want to pray over the sick in the name of Jesus wherever that person is I stand by the God of heaven and I declare the next exam you write by the power of prophecy we push you to the other side of victory help them in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit right now out of him in the name of Jesus out of him right now from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same hold on hold on you are a businessman you are into construction materials who is that I need to pray for you I'm seeing a demonic spirit just hijacking your finances and the Lord is saying to release that person building construction of that sort please make sure you don't don't tell lies come out this is the house of God Jesus Christ is here who is that person I want to pray for you thank you for coming out I want to pray for you listen the Lord calls like this because you cannot be empowered by the strength of the flesh one prophetic word you see can open a door of opportunities I know what prophecy can do remember I told you the forces that make the promises of God at work in our lives this world is too wicked to just depend on sentiments you can't sit down depending on the day I'm hoping that somebody who becomes a governor or a chairman house committee on something if he's my person he will help me that's a risk a, a very bad risk but let me pray for you I don't mean to embarrass you I'm only obeying God I will not call your name and I will not point you but there's one of you here I I pray that the mercy of God will speak over you um, you have cheated people you have cheated people a lot you have done a lot of things you should not do and I need to pray the mercy of God for you you see if you want to do business we are believers do business with the integrity the the dignity of kingdom integrity this is what I'm seeing don't come and cheat and defraud people and do a lot of things cut corner a bag of cement is 10 naira you say is 1,000 and then you want the blessing of God God is not a herbalist the Bible says that you lay iniquity far from you is that true and then you shall be built up you will lay gold as dust even the dust of offer now I'm not condemning you the Lord just ministered to me but I want to pray for you I truly believe in supernatural empowerment empowerment by the spirit some of you for many years jobs have not come for you you have done all you need to do it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the Bible says he gives his beloved sleep I stretch my hands over you God who has located you by the mercy of God 
I declare three months from now, beginning from now, March ending, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, between now and the next three months, may God surprise you. Between now and the next three months, I declare strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural doors by the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. I want to pray for you. There is somebody who traveled, you are a visitor, you came here from Cameroon. Please go back to your seat. Where are you? Cameroon. The Lord is speaking to me. I want to pray for you. Cameroon. You came from Cameroon. I'm not saying you are in Nigeria and you live in Cameroon. You came, you came particularly for this. You are from Cameroon. My friend, you are from Cameroon. You came for this program. Bermanda, 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 who is from there? I'll pray for you. All of you are from Bermanda. How do I look at all of you and know that you are from the same place? What is the probability of getting it right? That all of you are from Bermanda. In the name of, I've never even been there. I've just been to um, Douala and uh, Yaoundé. That's, that's all. But in the name of Jesus Christ, for one of you, you see dead people when you sleep. Dead people, they keep manifesting. Where's that person? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you because the living and the dead have nothing in common. I want to, I'm using them. Look, as I'm praying for them, I want you to release your faith because some of you, what is happening to them is happening to you. Any dead body that will not let you rest, coming to disturb you, listen, even if it's your relative, the living and the dead are, are separated. There is the spirits of just men made perfect. That is not what is happening to you. This one is a demonic oppression. As I pray for these ones, every covenant anyone has with the dead, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken now. Broken now. Let it be broken now. In the name of Jesus. My dear people from Cameroon, I stretch my hands to you. In the name that is above all names, you came here by the Spirit. Every issue of concern that brought you here to travel all the way, return back with your testimonies supernaturally return back with your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ can we pray for the sick now please I want you to lay your hands if you came here with a sick person by the way let me use this opportunity to just make a quick announcement now we thank God for what God is doing in and through us as a ministry but just for the sake of proper coordination if you come with anyone, whether for the miracle service or any service that has um, issues, maybe like mental health or any kind of psychosomatic condition, please do well to let our medical people know alongside our security operatives so that we will guide and manage them. You'll notice a few occurrences have happened in the last few weeks. And some of these people are sincere people, either being delivered or people who already have traces of um, mental health like the lady last week or so so these are sincere people and we owe it to help them and but please do well so that whilst we are trusting God for their healing we don't want a situation where they harm or hurt other people there are children here there are adults here there are other people who are sick managing their health there are people here who are very fragile health wise and it would be wise to know that if you have someone who has come with any kind of particular aggression, do well to let the medical team know and let the security operatives know so that we'll keep them in a place where we have watchful eyes over them so that we stop some of these things because um, some of the security people that work here work professionally. So once they apprehend people, we have to submit to their way of professionally dealing with the matter. So we do not want a situation where anyone comes to church and now you have to go to the police station or respond to any security concern is that fine let's lay our hands where we are trusting god for healing holy holy glory to the lamb glory
and expect a miracle right now whether is a malignant growth that is already expressing itself as cancer I want you to release your faith and this is where we pray for those who are connecting from hospitals I remain humbled that many hospitals connect our services so that their patients whether by way of phone or whatever means you are following from any hospital right now or any family or watching across the globe and you are sick in your body here's your chance to experience the healing power of Jesus I see some of you lifting the photos or maybe connecting your loved ones go ahead and release your faith lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch you can just make contact with your chest I want to pray for you I want to rebuke blood diseases I want to rebuke just just I want you to be sensitive the power of God is moving to heal I want to rebuke eye conditions I want to rebuke spine conditions and all kinds of cellular deformities that are destroying people right now blood conditions your hair falling bone problems already formations of arthritis half of you is beginning to get weak and heavy you are losing sensations across several parts of your body this is what the Lord is showing me losing sensations I'm seeing others who are having severe growths across several parts of your body growths that are becoming embarrassing across several parts of your body and you're trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing a woman hold a child I think that the child does not walk this is what I'm seeing in my vision I don't know if you're watching by way of internet or maybe you're somewhere you are holding a child I'm seeing a child that I don't know whether it's, it's an epileptic child or something like that but in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands right now and I want to rebuke that sickness healing is a children's bread in Zion there is healing now here's what will happen as I begin to rebuke that spirit remember what I taught you I want you to begin to do what you could not do if you could not walk as I begin to rebuke this sickness I want you to begin to take steps of faith and see if it's possible for you to lift your limbs and to walk you could not see as I pray for you you begin to check your eyes you could not hear as I pray for you you have some kind of heaviness you couldn't move any part of your body make sure that while I pray you check yourself and the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you begin to rejoice and celebrate with the Lord and then if I do give an opportunity we'll have very few people so that we don't prolong our stay unnecessarily we'll have a few people come so that we can have one or two people testify but let me pray now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now father thousands of people gathered here on this ground and thousands others following from across the globe there are many right now who if you do not heal them they are going to die there are many people right now who are already at stage four maybe cancer there are many right now who are victims of blood diseases and all kinds of infirmities but the Bible tells us that by your stripes we have been healed therefore in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands every spirit of infirmity that is back of any disease any sickness I command you leave God's people now I command you leave God's people now I command you leave God's people now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus there is someone God is healing you cough out blood you cough out and you find out that you are spitting blood in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you every blood condition here represented be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name HIV be healed in Jesus name hepatitis be healed in Jesus name leukemia be healed in Jesus name 
I decree and declare anyone who has any spine problem, I command the power of God touches you right now in Jesus' name. Bone conditions, you could not work or you could not work well because of a problem with your bones, the life and the power of Jesus touches you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone severe pain you have very very severe pain at the back of your neck very severe pain the power of God is touching you right now bringing you supernatural perfection in the name of Jesus every eye condition here be healed in Jesus name anybody who could not walk in the name of Jesus I declare that strength comes to your limbs to begin to walk now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus any part of your body you could not move I declare begin to move it now liberty of expression comes for you begin to move it now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you had a dream and it's like they poured something on your head from that time you are not particularly sick but there is movement physical movement you keep feeling physical movement like an object is moving around your head I decree and declare right now let that demonic occurrence come to an end and for everyone you are standing for I'm seeing several of you lifting your phones lifting photos in the name of Jesus right here I'm praying that the power of God will touch those people wherever they are for those who are connecting from any hospital in the name of Jesus I speak to those people supernatural healing and recovery happens for you now yes. healing and recovery happens for you now yes. there's someone you came here feeling you literally could feel like a big mast around your stomach area the moment I'm done praying I want you to check yourself you will find out that that demonic thing is gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is showing me if I don't pray for you you're going to lose a lot of your teeth you have a situation I don't know what is called maybe a cavity problem that is is making maybe some kind of bacterial or fungal problem that is making your teeth to be weak and almost to, to, to rot or something like that is is produced intense order from you and you've gone to the hospital from what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus Christ may the power of God touch you right now may the power of God touch you right now the Lord is asking me to pray for a little boy he's not a baby but he's a little boy the boy acts like someone who is autistic hyperactivity I mean he can be very hyperactive like the strength of many people I declare calmness comes for that boy right now in the name of Jesus Christ any lump and any growth in any part of your body in the name of Jesus I command those growths to disappear and hear me I don't know but I'm hearing colon cancer colon cancer in the name of Jesus if there is anybody whether here or connecting across the world whether you are aware of it or not in the name of Jesus we cause those cells they die from your body they die from your body I'm seeing someone you are unable to move your fingers you're unable to move your fingers without pain but in the name of Jesus after this prayer you'll be able to move your fingers with no pain now whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing someone's a grandmother the spirit of death wants to take that woman I'm seeing sickness a grandmother with what I'm seeing if we don't pray that person may not survive up to a month a grandmother father by your mercy wherever that woman is I declare life and healing for her right now life and healing for her right now life and healing for her right now in the name of Jesus unbendedness hallelujah we're going to pray father open my eyes 
to see the promise the principle and the prophecy allocated for birthing my possibility now two people can have the same need but the scripture that god will use to bail them out will be different two women can be trusting god for the fruit of the womb two women can be trusting god to lift their families for one god will give a scripture you need a specific prophetic word a specific scripture that reveals to you what god wants to do say open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things from out of thy law we are praying lord open my eyes reveal to me by the agency of the spirit show me appear to me via your word let me see the promise allocated for the area of concern in my life if my marriage is not working lord show me the scripture if my health is not working show me your word if my destiny is stagnated show me your word he sent forth his word the bible says and his word he led them and delivered them you are praying from the depth of your heart you are taking personal responsibility for your life take personal responsibility for your home your family your finances your ministry lord grant me grace i take responsibility over my destiny and in the name of jesus the christ of god the son of the living god i decree and i declare by the power of the holy spirit i declare in the name of jesus christ that i find through searching i find through prayer i find through the labor dimension of the word of god i pray and ask the lord to open my eyes let me find the principles allocated for my lifting let me find the principles allocated for my favor the scriptures hallelujah the bible says now that you know these things it says happy are you if you do them it is not just hearing the word that produces results it is not just knowing what god has said you must obtain grace to do the grace does not exempt you from doing the grace empowers you to do this is i think a, a bit of a balance that must be brought because most people think that all that the grace of god does is to exempt you from doing there are actions that are actions of the law that have been dealt with but there are actions of faith james said show me your faith without works and i will show you my faith by my works there are works that are actions attestations participatory actions that validate that you believe god very very important joshua chapter 1 Bible says this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he says but thou shalt meditate during day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. It says, thou mayest observe. No, not just observe to speak. Confession is a very active part of faith, but that's not all. You must obtain grace to do. There are many of us, we may need to write the things that we will need to do as our participatory actions of obedience to prove to God that we believe him fully and then commit his integrity. God is a God of integrity, but he's integrated on our behalf at the point of obedience. Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm rounding up. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if, that's a condition, thou shalt diligently hearken to the, then to observe, and next to do all not to do some not to do the one you like not to do the one convenient let me tell you this when you are obeying god you don't choose your conditions you don't choose your terms if god gives you an uh, a, a challenges you for instance and say take a seed to your pastor and sow it into his life so that he will speak over your life to break this hold of delay for instance you must be careful to do all if god says be diligent a lazy man will beg in harvest you cannot just be praying and refuse to be productive and expect that god is going to bring things in your hand no you will have to trust god for grace 
to do all his commandments which i command thee this day he says as a result the lord will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and then verse 2 says these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if that's the condition thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god we are going to pray lord show me my role in birthing the possibility that you intend for me to have in this season show me my role we are praying please pray show me my role for some of you your role will need to be to go for training for some of you your your role will need to be investing knowledge for some of you your role will need to be to go and buy books that discuss your subject of concern for some of you your role will need to be humility for some of you your role will need to be to build character for some of you your role will need to be to spend more time with god's word for some of you your role will need to be to stay with scripture and build until you conform to the image of god for some of you your role will need to be to take risks for some of you your role will need to be to build relationships for some of you your role will need to be to spend more time in prayer for some of you your role will need to be wisdom to access wisdom for some of you your role <coughs> excuse me may need to be to go online and search for job opportunities for some of you your role will need to be to sit down with your wife and talk and build a great marriage for some of you your role will need to be to be more attentive to your children for some of you your role may need to be to love the body of christ for some of you your role may need to be to love god with all your heart pray from the depth of your heart what is my role oh god there has to be something that i need to do the rich man came to jesus and said good master what do i do to inherit eternal life Now, the next point we are going to pray. Nobody can fulfill the demands of faith in the strength of the flesh. This is something we need to understand. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 from verse 1, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Powerful scripture. Who walk not, not just who sit down there, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit verse 2 says for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death three it says for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh you see that now the flesh made the law weak it says god sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh verse 4 and then the bible says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit verse 5 it says for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit here's the point for to be carnally minded the word carnal there means sensual that means the limitation of your impulses is what you think what you hear what you see what you taste to be carnally minded will only lead you to death it says but to be spiritually minded is life and peace let me just pause here a bit and as we round up let me just encourage us believers we are in very sensitive times that require high level spirituality there are people who sit down and you know we hear all kinds of things from the media we hear all kinds of things from our relatives and our friends and you just put on the television and it's like everything is about war everything is about trouble it's like the whole world is packing up let me tell you this straight it is not the destruction of satan that will bring jesus back it is the glory and the dominion of the saints he is coming as the king of weak kings god is not sitting on the throne scratching his head and wondering what to do no and the church is not becoming a powerless entity that is under the limitation and, and the vicissitudes of life the church is the bride of christ guarded by his own jealousy we are a victorious people but we must be careful what we 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 allow into the ear gate into the eye gate these are sensitive gates to our spirits the things you read 
the things you hear the company you keep it is very important culture your atmosphere remain at a level of spirituality that allows the holy spirit to be comfortable working with you there are pastors who believe that until certain things happen we cannot prosper there are businessmen who believe until certain things happen we cannot prosper that's not true god is still a maker he's making men making families making destinies restoring hope there are people who have been so blessed even during this pandemic there are people who have known god there are people who have increased i'd like you to exempt yourself through knowledge you must make up your mind in as much as we love the whole body of christ and we love the world we sympathize with the tragic things that have happened to people but do not allow what is happening in the world to suddenly destroy your conviction i know whom i have believed i may not know who you believe and what you believe but i know what i have believed so we are going to pray lord help me to be spiritual to be spiritual that my mind is governed by your word not the speakings left right bombarded here and there not let me not give satan room to dampen my faith let me not give satan room to destroy my convictions are we praying thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus now i'd like you to pray for new heritage baptist church pray for pastor great servant of god pray for his dear wife pray for his family we are at times where ministry is very challenging the devil is raising all kinds of onslaughts to make sure that the church becomes voiceless and and we have to pray pray for him pray for his wife pray for his family pray for the deaconry of the new heritage baptist church pray for the youth pray for every arm of the church we decree and declare that new heritage baptist church will only continue to go from glory to glory Pray for the wonderful mothers. Pray for those trusting God for healing. Pray for those trusting God for lifting. Pray for those trusting God for supernatural turnarounds. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. You have shared with us that it is possible to activate divine possibilities. And you have taught us again that results are not the reason why you desire us to seek you. You desire that much more than the things that you will do for us, that we will seek to know you because we truly love you. And Lord, we trust you and we, we say it again that we love you not because of tea and bread. We love you not because of the things that you give us. We love you for who you are. But Lord, we thank you that you are benevolent enough to not leave us without help. You are our helper and you are our maker. And thank you for showing us the systemic nature of your kingdom, that we can activate keys that upon engaging them will open us to a world of limitless possibilities. You have taught us faith. Lord, I pray that you bring us to a point of persuasion where we are convinced about your integrity, where we are convinced about your ability. Open us, oh God, to the understanding, illumination that will help us know the participatory roles that we have to play in actualizing prophecy and promises over our lives. And Lord, we obtain grace. Grace that will help us to be diligent and to be persistent until your word speaks over our lives. Father, I stretch my hands and I pray for New Heritage Baptist Church and as many who are following and will be following. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will bless everyone. I pray by the ministry of the Spirit. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost. I pray that the power of God will touch people that in homes, in families, you experience the grace of God. I pray for breakthrough. I pray for restoration. Those who have gone down and gone cold spiritually, I pray in the name of Jesus, let there be an activation of a fresh love and fire for the things of God. Whatever is a distraction to your life and your spiritual experience, I declare that God will cut it away from you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will love the Lord with all your heart. I pray that you will hunger after the things of God. And I pray for the leadership. I pray for all families represented. I pray for the youth. Everything you desire God to do in your life, I release my faith with you. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that you are having this experience as your heritage. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. In the name of Jesus. Grace does not exist. Thank 
you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.